what is up everybody uh so today just wanted to get some online trading card gameplay pokemon so i haven't been able to i know i haven't uh, opened up a lot of packs on here lately um uh, i'm i'm literally almost done with the whole uh evolution set so um basically i'm just trying to get right now from the evolution set um the the charizard hollow the charizard pre-release the non-hollow polyraph which you can only get from one of the pre-release boxes and the pre-release gyarados and then all i need now is the full art charizard full art blastoise and the full art dragonite i literally ha i have everything else so all i need is now is one two three uh four five six seven cards left and those other two cards are hard to get uh, the polygraph uh, i've seen online but i just don't want to spend the amount of money to get it just because it's a non-hollow um i actually had somebody that was going to give it to me just for the hell of it but uh that didn't fall through so but you know it is what it is so let Let's go and I, I literally have a bunch of code cards. So here, let me uh, give one out. Uh, let's do. I have Steam Siege, Steam Siege, uh, Furious Fist, Plasma Blast, Flash Fire, Furious Fist, uh, Breaking Point, Faith Collide. Ancient Origins, those ones are going away. Fates, 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 Fates. Oh, uh, man. More Flash Fire, more Plasma Blast. Fuck it. Um, this one's Phantom Forces, Ancient Origins. Here, let's do a Ancient Origins ones. So, if anybody's listening, here you go. It's a 3LPY. 5D3 NJ8 MVU. So that's 3 Lincoln Paul Yoda 5 Delta 3 Ninja James 8 um, Mark Victor uh, Unit. So, yes, I know it's not really good code, so. I don't have my 10 codes with me. But there you go. That's the Agent Origin Booster. And let's get into some gameplay and some discussion of some new stuff that's going to be coming out. So this is what I have right now. Um, just saved up. Um, I have 2K saved up for the... This is really cool, by the way. So I suggest you get these for these are gone. It's really cool. Um, you get, of course, I got Bulbasaur. You know, already, people that know me already know I'm a huge Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur fan. So, but I literally got all these. Uh, I got all these already. Uh, well, most of them all. And yeah, I suggest getting these. They actually give you, you know, stuff you need like um, uh, elixir. Um, Uh, what's it called? Uh, versus Seeker, stuff like that. Like, it's good stuff that you need for um, online play. Make a decent deck. Uh, let's see, it's new. That one. Some of these are okay. Like, just what they give you. Just, I don't know why the hell that's in um, Spanish or whatever the hell that is. And then look, this one is. I don't have. It doesn't make any sense. It says you have English, and then click on it. It's in Spanish. Queso set de griso con. It looks like Spanish. And then this is English right here. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, that's new.
good good uh, primary one, but the secondary attack kind of sucks to get to. We'll probably use a rare candy on it, but um but yeah. Uh, the new um GX is coming out next month. Uh less than a month now. I think it's February third when it's coming out. And yeah, I already um pre ordered a box. I already pre ordered a Elite Trainer box, so I'm gonna be opening that on my channel too when it comes out. Um uh, and then I'm going to the pre release here in six days for the excuse me, uh, for the um GX man. So it's a new transition, so it's pretty crazy because now all the cards that have the ability or additional attacks is this card is a cannot these cards cannot be attacked by a G, uh, EX. So that's going to be uh, crazy. So all these cards that have a uh, EX blocking ability ain't going to do shit when the GX come out. And I already dealt with that when I had uh, my Snorlax. I already battled somebody with my Snorlax and they had their um, they had this guy right here. The Regice, how it says during your opponent's next attack, prevent all the effects of the Pokemon from EX. You have a GX, knocks it right out. Um, you have your uh, Carbink, knocks it right out. You have your uh, you have your um, What's it called? Your, uh, um, I can't remember his name, but um, it's a psychic attack, and he has the ability to block EXs. Um, you have that legendary Pokemon um, water type. I can't remember his name either, but it's been a while since I used them, and he has the ability to block it too. So, and then you have, of course, you have your uh, your ability blocker for your basic for your stadium, and then you have your ability blocker for your um, your trainer or your supporter that you have uh, I can't remember her name but I have her on my decks so basically what I try to do uh, with this new deck right here I try to revolve everything around poison and it, it's, it is okay so far but it's hard because um, You need to have um, four of these, so I only have two. And then I need to get another one of these guys so you can keep um, boosting it up. So I really need to probably get two more of those two. I uh, kind of want to get either two more of Spin Arc and Arados. Or I want to get rid of Pidgeot and put in another Skeptile. But I just love it. I love Pidgeot's mirror move. It's just such a beast of an attack. One energy, and you're. If they hit you with 160, you hit them with 160 for one energy. I mean, it's a really good attack, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, but this is what I'm really rocking right now is my removal dark. I love this. Um, I have really good, um, it's really good. Uh, I've actually built this offline or in real life and so far it's okay. I haven't really got to battle with anybody, um, in real life with it. Just, just play with my, uh, my girlfriend and get her into it cause she never played Pokemon before so but um let's see water and call this so this is person that probably has the blast toys and all that all that crap let's 
so let's see. This is the guy I did not want to start out with first. But I do have my... So this deck right here, the removal dark that I'm using, um, I have it based on um, removal, like literally removal of everything. Uh, my alarm. Uh, like literally shutting down their abilities, literally removing energy, literally removing attachments, literally removing like this right here. This is the reason why I did try to shut them down. So get rid of energy. Get rid of that. So this guy so far cannot do anything. So right now I am two energy ahead, which he could have a removal too. So let's see. Probably gonna look for something to boost up his bench. Called it right there, fan club. So he's probably gonna get uh, what's it called? There we go. This is what I wanted. So keep this for now. So either way, I'm ahead right now. So he's gonna use his fan club. He's gonna boost his bench. But I'm also gonna be able to do 30 damage to one of his opponents on his bench. So I'm gonna get a boost attack so far. So I got a good hand, I got a good start so far. He got a pretty crappy one. Ooh, see, that right there. Didn't I call it? That rejice. I need to get rid of that. So right now, I'm gonna look for my booster of my bench so so I get Pokemon fan club which I'm going to do so I can get uh, my Zoro arcs so he doesn't try to pull that EX bullshit on me EX blocker bullshit so this guy's dead Dragonite pull two Assuming he has a double colorless in his thing, which I'm gonna remove here. There it is. Does it 70? It's okay because I'm still gonna do damage to his Pidgeot. Another regest. That little bastard. It's okay though. So he does his 70. Perfect. Bam. Bam. So now he's stuck. He can't do shit now. He's stuck. So now I can. Now he's gonna boost his dude on the bench. If he was smart, yeah. See. If he was smart, he would boost the dude on the bench. Okay, so now I got my Zoro Arc already right there. Bam, bam. Actually, you know what? Keep that one that has an ascension so I can automatically evolve. And bring out Evital. So really, ooh, look at that pool right there. Look at that pool right there. He's gonna quit after this. He's gonna quit.
he doesn't quit. Yeah, if he doesn't quit, then I give him props. See what he pulled. So bad. I told you. I knew he was gonna quit. I got a good hand that one. Solid coming, a solid coming. Let's go home real quick. And so this is the evolutions still that they have on there. So I wanted to see Wanted to show you real quick the stuff, but it's loading really slow here. Kind of, I got a crap open though. So that's the new that one. Of course, Sun and Moon the game already beat it. Uh, wish they had better hats. There we go. Pokemon from Aloha arriving in TCG. Okay, over 140 cards. Uh, standard legal deck, yes. February 3rd. Uh, that's La Luna GX. Then take you to another page. Uh, as often as you like during your turn, you may move a psychic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So your Pokemon can't be can't be healed during your opponent's next turn. Okay. Knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX. Well. Wow. Kind of good, kind of bad, because pretty much everybody wants to have GXs now, so you need to have four energy to do just do 120 damage, and that's kind of crap. And especially if you look at that, my Evital, my Evital deck would knock that out with. I mean, it has 250. It's basically like a Whale Lord, but my. My um, Evital will knock that out, especially, uh, see, look, that's 20, 40, 60, 80, plus the uh, additional 20, so 100, 200 damage already on just me using two energy while you're using four. And then you have 120 on me, so whoever gets to jump off first on hitting, yeah, so it's not really a uh, great card, actually. Little Persian, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with active Claw Rand. Uh, Silago GX. This is what I want right here. Weakness is fire. Soul Burst, only one? Really? Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch your active Pokemon. With one, look at that. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. That is, that's good, man. 
discard all energy from this Pokemon. 230 damage for three? Jesus. Search your deck up to five energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. Dude, Solago's a fucking beast. Dude. Alright. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. So you use this, you get rid of three, just three energies, that's it, right? And then you have, um, what's his face? The, the bell guy, I can't remember his name, but he has the ability to, um, put, um, steel energy from the discard pile to your bench Pokemon. Especially when you have, look at that, and then you can change, you can change your, Put him on your bench. I mean, now it's Slago's beast, man. I need to get him. Dude is a beast. Then if you're allowed to use rare candies, so you go from the Cos Cosmo Cos something, and then automatically to GX. Beast. I'm loving the artwork on these ones. Sorry, it's taking a little long, but I have. YouTube open, I have Pokemon open, and I have the, my screen recording. Gum shoes. I actually have this card Japanese. So this is what it says. Once during your turn before you attack, you may have your opponents reveal their hand. Well, what's the point? Um... Headbutt bounce, 100. Gum shoes, GX. This attack does 50, da 50 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Damn. Gum shoes is a beast, too. This attack does for one. And this attack does 50 more damage times the amount of energy attached to one of your opponent's active Pokemon. Damn, man. So, man, these 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 GXs are game changers, man. Kind of kind of feel bad for whoever likes uh, Molia. It's kind of a shitty GX, in my opinion, for being a uh, the star and the legendary ones of the video game. It looks cool, but I mean, look at this. This one is just just. OP like crazy crazy OP definitely want that one so I have to start building around a you know what I can do is um build around my Uvital deck to have steel energy in it and it's basically non-stop sw switching so you either have your uh, dark ray that has removed from the bench if you have a GX to it and then, uh, I mean, you have a dark energy attached to it, and then you have your GX that has, you can move your sweat active Pokemon, so you don't need to attach anything. Fucking beast. Oh, that's if you evolve it, because this is a stage two, so. Uh, let's see if it shows any more. Don't think it will. I kind of don't think they want to show everything just yet. No, I don't think they do. But, um, here, let me get out of here. But, um, yeah. So that is that. Let's get, let's do another game. Yeah, so basically if I have everything wrapped around my... They need to fix this, by the way. My removal dark. Somehow. I'll probably get rid of Lugia and Pidgeot. And then add in Cosmos. Because then you got your guys that are asleep. I need to get the actual other dark, dark ray that has... Um, uh, this amount of dark energy attached to all your Pokemon and 
in the other one, so I should do up a trade. See if anybody has that. Maybe get two of them. Cause I don't really, never really use Mega Pidgeot. I mean, sometimes, but not, not really where. All right. So let's get in one more game. And then we call it a day. Well, call it a recording. Probably gonna play a little bit after. Psychic and water. So I already have the advantage there. Water though, that's the question. So I wonder if he built his deck yep, around Blastoise with Naked Mewtwo. It's crazy because you play this game so long that you can actually see what people do. There we go. I love this card by the way. This card right here is a beast. If you can if it's in your bed. So I suggest getting two. So Ooh, another retice. Get another one. Actually, you know what this is what I'll do. Get Eva's Hall. And Eva Tall. So right now I have an advantage. I get those boosts up here. I really hope you put the double colors first. I love the people that do that. They are awesome. Okay. I say do this do this because I can always get more energy evolve him and go from there if, he, if he's smart, he wouldn't put any more buddy on his bench. You really use the first seeker to draw three cards. So I have my microphone, don't need that. Let's do this so I can get his attack. Bust out 70 on it. Bust out 70 damage already. Dunzo. He should just quit. If I was him, I would quit. You really just use draw three cards again. Is that like the only thing he has? Like what? Well, you just killed yourself. You don't if you don't retreat. Okay.
I don't know why he did that. He's definitely going to remove energy. Nope. Oh, he got rid of N, huh? Uh, foul play, obviously not, so... This deck is basically around removal. Removal of attachments, removal of special energy, removal of energy, um, and then gaining energy. Um, my Yvetal, my Fisherman, like literally everything. Removal, removal, removal. Lucky bastard. So, with that... We'll use poke. We'll use center just in case because um, uh, what's it called? If he does decides to do it again, I'm set. So. So yeah, see. So now I'm good. Oh, you bastard. Well, that's good, though. Let's see if I can get something out of there. If I get my special energy removal. Okay, I'm good with that. Ooh, and I got my center lady. And I got my sleep attack. Another redress. Guys, revolt hopes on Pokemon uh, removal. Or Pokemon EX stopping. What does this one do? That was dumb. That was dumb. If this Pokemon has 10 or more damage counters on it, there's 150 more damage. So. So, better have Pokemon Center, because I'm about to knock him out. He's probably going to put it on Regice. No? You just, why would you do that? Okay, I was going to say, you better have Pokemon Center.
30, 60, 70, 91, 20. Knocks me out. Damn it. It's fine though. Only takes one. Do I chance it? I save my Yibital. Very nice. Now it's time to wear down his Mega. If I can get Gust of Wind, I'll be set. Yeah, so he's gonna revolve around everything. So if I use Pokemon Center now, should I use this or Pokemon Center? So if he has another one, does a hundred. And I use Pokemon Center and bring me down to forty. Then he'll do a hundred and thirty. I'll be dead. So no. I don't really want to make evolve it into Mega Pidgeot. Nice. So now he has to have Pokemon Center, or else he's screwed. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one. Yeah. Later, buddy. Can't stop me with your Pokemon EX stopper. Built this deck so I can try to get around that. Twenty-five, nice. Take that. Almost there. Almost getting down. What that thunder is. All right, so that's it. Um, uh, gameplay of playing online. My deck that I built, River of Rig Dark. Uh, the new GX's that are coming out, and yeah, man, I'm gonna do unboxing here of the GX because again, I got the actual whole box of Sun and Moon. I have a whole uh, box of uh, ETB, and yeah, so get ready for some codes to come out. So I know a lot of people are gonna be one of that. So hope you enjoy it when you get some. Um, uh, yeah, and enjoy that card that I gave for the Ancient Origins. If anybody didn't listen in the beginning, so um, thanks you guys for watching, and I am out. Peace.